Hey, welcome back to the Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're gonna to have a quick discussion about the Natapmo Smart AC Controller. I published a first impressions video on this device a few weeks ago, and I've been using the device ever since, and there's a few things that I don't really like about it, and this is why I'm sending it back. So, I published another video about a different Smart AC Controller, again a few weeks ago, the Tado uh, AC Controller. That's a much better device in quite a lot of ways. So check that video out in the top right-hand corner if you're interested in a reliable and good smart AC controller for HomeKit. However, I'm sending this Natapmo back because there's quite a few things which are wrong with it. I highlighted them to uh, Natapmo themselves and they just, just said that's just the way the device works. So um, if you're not too familiar with the device, it's a smart AC controller that connects to HomeKit and other smart home services and it in emits a infrared signal so it can control your air conditioning unit that might not have any internet connectivity. And even if it does have any internet connectivity like my one, it's not the best uh, software in the world, so it makes the whole experience a bit better. However, with an Atatmo controller, there are a few things that um, aren't quite right. So number one, uh, in the app, uh, the device will turn off after four hours regardless um, of what settings you've set. So um, in Atatmo, I've said that's an energy saving, uh, energy saving tip. However, if you're in the middle of a heat wave, um, and the device will turn itself off after four hours. That's not great. You're gonna realize after a while that, oh, it's got hot again, and you have to kick on it, kick it on again. So that's number one, uh, one of the things that I don't quite like about it. And that feature you just can't turn off. It's an energy saving feature, um, and that's just how it works. Second one is the way it works with the fan. So in HomeKit, the, the two devices that it exposes, it exposes a fan, uh, and also the temperature control for this device. This has got a temperature sensor built in. Um, so if you want to turn on the air conditioning, it defaults to, it's like a medium fan speed. A lot of the times it doesn't work quite well as it should. Um, however, with the Tado one I've got now, the fan controller is, while it's not present in HomeKit, it remembers what setting you want uh, from the Tado app, and then you can have it on full blast fan. So when you do ask Siri to turn on the air conditioning, it defaults back to the, the full on fan speed that you want from before. So that's the two things I'm not too sure about with the Natapmo AC controller. So that's basically why I'm sending this device back and I wouldn't recommend uh, purchasing it. If you are looking for a smart AC controller to work with HomeKit, I would recommend a Tado uh, AC controller. There's a link in the top right -hand corner to that video I published a few weeks ago. For more information, have a look at interface.uk. Thanks for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.